Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. I swear to God people think that squeaking's me. It's not, it's the chair. Anyway, hi everyone, it's Mike here. So it's April, it's the month of spring, which can only mean showers and more snow. Well, here in the UK, that's what it means anyway. Um, and it's also beginning of the month, which means it's a brand new mission for the Mission Inspiration Facebook group. And I'll put the link on the screen right now. So this is a monthly art challenge where we all get together and have a go at the monthly prompts, which I will share with you in a second. So I just want to say a quick shout out to Linda Simpson. Um, Thank you, Linda, for stepping in for me yesterday to make the Mission Inspiration live on the Facebook because I couldn't do it myself. So Linda stepped in and did it for me. So thank you. So what I'll do now is I'll turn over to my overhead camera and show you what I've done for my mission for April. That's the only sneak peek you get in. Catch you at the end. Okay, so. I'm not sure where I'm going to be going with this page. This is going to be a complete um, intuitive kind of play. And I've just looked at what's on the page, um, pulled out a few bits and pieces that I think may go with the Art Journal page. Um, but this is going to be one of those cases where I'm no, I have no real idea um, exactly what I'm going to do. So I've had a look through the eight ingredients that are on the page. So the first one that jumped out of me was to scrape paint across your page. Okay, so to do that, uh, I'm going to scrape mint, but I don't have any mint paint, so I'm going to have to make some. So the first thing that I've done is I've brought out some Dina Wakeley um, Evergreen, and I'm going to put a little bit of that paint there and then I've got some white and I'm going to put the majority of the paint down as white because I want it to be a pale minty green as it were so I'll just grab a brush hopefully clean and then I'm just going to mix those two colours together Hopefully they'll be light enough. Right, let's just add a little bit more white. I could add some gesso, but... I've got those out now. So I'm, I'm going for the kind of mint you get in Kind of like mint choc chip ice cream. Almost a pistachio colour if you like, but not pistachio, but mint. Okay, so I think that is just about where I want it to be. And it says scrape paint across the page. So I'm going to add just some dobs. I have not gessoed the page, so this is going to be virginal scraping. I've got the credit card. So literally, I'm just going to go backwards and forwards across the paint till it's absorbed. And I'll just keep adding dobs where there's gaps until I've run out of paint. Which by the looks of this, won't be long. Okay, so we'll go horizontally first. Now look, see that's almost covered the entire page now. I've lost most of those scrapes. So I've got a background. But I've scraped it. I could have just painted it. <laughs> so I've done that step already. So scrape it so let's see if we've got a pen. I can tick these off as we're going along. What have I done with all my pens? Oh, there's a food ball pen there. Right, okay. So, scrape paint across your page. Yep, yeah, done that bit. Okay, so the next thing, let's have a look what we can do, 
is to make holes in your page. Okay, so to do that, mind you, I need to draw that off first, don't I? Come on, let's get sorted. Okay, so dry. So I've pulled out of my punch drawer. This is a um, make holes in your page. That's what I was going to go for, weren't we? So make holes in the page, um, which is number D, number D, letter D. Make holes in your page. Ribbon threader punch. So I thought I would go kind of across the bottom. I'm just doesn't matter if I do it evenly or not. Don't really mind as long as I just space out. bits of paper flying at me now. All good fun. So I'm going to do that across the bottom and I'm going to turn it round and go across the top of the page too. So start about there. And just randomly slide it across. So this will kind of add a little bit of a border to my page too. Maybe one more across there. <laughs> Definitely got bits everywhere. So I've now got holes punched across the top and the bottom. Um, now I measured, uh, I did a test piece earlier on on that on that piece of pink card there uh, and I measured just to see how big the holes were I then went and cut two strips of uh, paper card stock from one of the Tim Holtz um, 12x12s the one that's got the numbers and the player pieces on um, and I'm going to thread that through so I'm literally just gonna thread it and go up and under Or perhaps, yeah, this may take a little bit longer than I thought to do, <laughs> which is always going to be the case. So, what I'll do is because this probably will take me a little bit of a time, there's that pokey tool. Perhaps if I push down and pull up to create. Maybe I've cut it too big. Who can say? I can push down with my pokey tool and then push up with my thumb. This might actually make it a bit quicker. Any road up, regardless. I'll fast forward until I've done the top and the bottom. Okay, so, well that wasn't a five minute job, that took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to do, but hey ho, okay so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some glue, uh, and I've just got a little pot of Tombow, just the white stuff, bog standard PVA, school glue kind of stuff, and I'm just going to stick them down just to hold them in place. 
tiny, tiny bits of glue. Okay. So, now I have border, top and bottom. That's why I don't like using the white glue that often. Okay, so, pen. Make holes in the page. So, next bit, stamp a pattern all over. Okay, I can do that. Let me just grab a nice stamp and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this older uh, indigo blue stamp designed by Limo Weber, uh, Ink Splats it's called. So I think I'm going to, there's one missing. Or is there, is that all part of the same one? One, two, three, yeah, I think just the three. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that circular one. So I'll grab a block and I'm using coffee because we've got browns in there and we've got the craft kind of color there. So mint and craft. So this is kind of like a coffee color, which is a light brown. So this will probably do. And I'm working on watercolor paper as well. So I will have a little bit of um, resistance to the pattern. As you can see, it's a good way to call it, isn't it? A resistance to the pattern. Doesn't mean anything. I'm making it up as I go along. Like I normally do, but don't tell anyone. Okay, so I think I'm be just on there. That's Mr. Bentley getting out of bed. Hello, darling. And maybe just another one there. That'll do. That will do. So I'll put that block to one side with the stamp. And that ink can go away. So let's just bring in my checklist. Stamp pattern all over. Okay. So. Um, add journaling or illegible text. So I shall write across the bottom here. So I just need to leave that to dry for a little while. So I'll just take that one off. Oh, we've used mint, we've used craft. Leave that to dry for a sec and I'll be right back because Mr. Bentley wants to go out for a wee wee. Okay, so I've got illegible writing across the top and bottom, well, upside down, whichever way, backwards, that kind of thing. <laughs> so that's that done. So next one, I'm going to go to the next point here, which is draw or paint a face or fragments of one. Okay, so I'm going to pretty much just kind of draw a half sort of face just in there, just kind of get the shape. And I'm doing this in pencil, so it's easy to rub off if I don't particularly like the way it looks. So I'm kind of drawing my face in half and then I'm going to just put a point halfway through and then divide that up into three. So this is going to be my eye line. So if I kind of draw a little oval there, that will be one on the left will be my next. And that's the next eye there. So I've got three eyes, but don't worry. That middle one was just a spacer, so we're going to get rid of that. The next line down is going to be the tip of my nose. And then the next line down 
that one there is going to be kind of the mouth. And then I can bring in that kind of brow line all the way down. And then nozzies. And then, of course, your ear starts around about the same sort of space as your eyes and then comes down to about where your nose is. Okay, so now I've got that basic kind of shape of face in there. I've got lips mouth. I can start to kind of stylize. So I'll just draw in a couple of lids. Lower circles, so iris, so around about there. Doesn't have to be um, anatomically accurate. That's for sure. So let's see whether I've got a little bit of it. I don't want to use my food ball pen. I'd rather use a different kind of pen. Uh, let me just see what I've got. Just to add those, how big's that? A number four, let's see whether that actually works. No, it's dead. Into the bin. Right, what we've got here. Is that the one I've just put down? Yeah, that's too tiny. Okay, I'm going to have to stabilo all my all purpose, and of course it's missing an end. Oh, pencil sharpener. I'm having one of those days, boys and girls. One of those days. Okay, so let's just add some basic shape. A little bit of basic shape. I don't often draw faces in my journal pages. just on the inside of the head up here. I might not even end up bothering. And then we've got a swoop of the neck and then the chin can come there. I think that'll do. So what I'm going to do now is if I can find it, my water pen, which is empty, which is typical, but I keep equipment on hand just in case. Bottles of water and such. Fill my pipette. Drop seat. I've got the only pipette look, that looks like it's got two holes. Well, and you see, <sighs> typical. 
Siamese pipette. Conjoined pipette, sorry. Yes, before I get emailed. Because <laughs> we don't call them that anymore, do we? Okay, because they're not all Siamese. No, sir. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a damp brush, so I'm just going to activate and just create some shadow with my Stabilo All Pencil, which is going to kind of turn this sort of watercolour y, but I don't mind. Shadow and light just helps to create an impression. There, and I think just take a little bit of that paint and just kind of give a hint of an ear. And I'm going to leave that to dry. He says, fiddling with it. Okay, that's it. I'm going to leave that to dry, or just help it to dry. Okay, as you may have noticed, my Tim Holtz heat gun is starting to Go faulty again. This will only be my fourth one. Okay, so draw, paint, a face, or fragments of one. So we've done that. Now I might want to add a little bit of colour into there in a little while. And um, just add touches of colour. Um, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I just want to go on to the next bit. So what we've got, add small paper shapes, cut, torn, or die cut. Okay, so. I've got small paper shapes, torn, cut or die cut. I've got some craft coloured card and I'm going to cut or punch out just a couple of sets of arrows. And I'm going to put those I think those three little arrows, I'm going to put those into the page, pointing that way. Like so. so I'm just going to use a little bit of that little Tombow glue because you don't need a lot. So the reason this wasn't done, or you weren't seeing this on Saturday, is because we got the car back. And I went to visit mum and dad on Saturday and took mum shopping and did a catch up because I haven't seen them for nearly three weeks. So, thought that kind of was a little bit more important than um, doing an art journal page. I thought I'd have plenty of time to do it today. There. Okay. So again, Tombow liquid glue, the white stuff. I do have the clear stuff, but well, that's downstairs. Okay, so add small paper shapes, cut, torn or die cut. Now of course it doesn't say how many, so you can do as many as you like. 
So the next bit is going to be add just one word as a focal point. Okay, so I've got face, I've got arrows. So for me, the word is going to have to be vision because I'm kind of pointing towards the eyes. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So just one word as a focal point. So what have I got? that I can use as a focal point. Let me have a look. <coughs> Alphabets and stuff. Alphabets and stuff. Rub-ons, stickers and alphabets. Unless I've actually got the word vision already in a Timmy Holtzy set. Let's have a look. Is the word vision in there? Probably not. Vision. No doesn't look like vision was ever in there. Not in that set anyway, so there's none in the big chat. Uh, that's big chat again, so what's this one? Small chat. No. Anything in the craft? Since we're using craft, chit chat in craft. Um, let's see whether the word vision appears in there. Probably not again. Value is the only V. Look at that. On that page anyway. Voyage. No vision. Oh my goodness. Tim, you're letting the side down. Very. Honestly, honestly, no word vision. Right, okay, so um, do I have any? I do. I've got some typewriter keys. Now, do I, I have enough to say the word vision, to put the word vision? I do have enough. So, these are self adhesive. I got these from my local craft store. Um, they were um, very inexpensive. I think I paid 99p for them, like little typewriter keys, but they're self-adhesive on the back. Domed, shiny, nice. Um, so, where do I want the N to end? I want the N. Mm, don't know. Perhaps I ought to do it to follow the contour of the face. Vision. So let's get an O. So you notice I've got the V stuck to my finger. <laughs> I. Let me just put it to one side for now. Oh, I need something as a kind of placeholder. There, like that, that'll help me hold on to it. So normally I use a scalpel to do this. Very, very good value for money. With these little embellishments, and then the and of course it's dropped on the floor. Of course it has. Yeah. And it's got craft back to it as well. And they're called love letters. Look at that. Oh, and that's sweet. And it doesn't even say who the manufacturer is. There you go. Churned out by the million in China, probably. All right. So we've got just one word as a focal point. Done that. Done the word vision. 
Da, 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 vision. I hope I've spelled that right. Even when I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, oh, good grief, please tell me I've spelled it right. Uh, that's stuck on pretty fast now. So I've got that. So what I'll do is I'm also just going to add a little bit of that Stabilo just underneath the arrows now that they're certainly dryish. And I'll use my water brush. Just to add some shadow underneath them, just to kind of blend them in. To be a subtle shadow, I'm not going too dark, like so. And I've also got add something metallic or shiny. There, well, actually. They're shiny. So I think I might be able to get away with that one. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. My focal point is shiny, as well as the word. How cool. Okay, so the only thing left to do now is I haven't used any coral anywhere. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I want some paint. And I would like some pink and a tad of orange. And I've got some white. So, pink, add a little blob of pink and a little blob of, let's bring that in so you can see what I'm doing, orange, Put equal amounts. And then a paintbrush. And then let's just mix those two together. And you see that orange was a little bit too strong for that pink. So let's grab some red. Add some red into that orange. And then once we've got a kind of what we need, I don't actually need a lot of this colour. It's a difficult one to mix. So if you can get hold of any actual coral paint, then you're going to be laughing. Don't particularly want to use yellow, because that's just going to give me... All right, so we're getting kind of like corally shades coming up now. Maybe yellow, maybe the trick. Let's try it. That's just going to go orangey, I just know it. As just knows it. Ah, right there in the middle, look. We're just getting a kind of corally colour. You probably can't see it because it's shiny because it's wet, but we definitely have a coral colour right there. Let me just see if I can move that coral. There we go. So I ended up mixing red, pink, green, not remember, green, red, pink, orange, and a little bit of yellow, just to kind of get that corally color. Which is kind of like um, an orangey rouge, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I've got that coral color. So what I'm going to try and do is get a real fine detail brush from somewhere. I've got one somewhere. I've got loads and loads and loads of paintbrushes somewhere. This will do. That will do. And I'm going to pick up just a little bit of coral. And I'm going to apply it just... 
where the lips are just as a kind of tiny little highlight there and then just a little just at the corner of the eyes Do a little suggestion. You don't need a lot. Don't need a lot at all. As long as you've got some it's okay. But you don't even need to add any well it's up to you if you add any at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mix some water in with the rest of that coral and then I'm just going to do some splatters. Just a few. Just as little accent colours. Another danger is if it's like reddish that it sort of looks like blood splatters, but I think because it's more orangey than anything, it don't. That's my excuse anyway. Right, let me get that dried off with my failing Tim Holtz dryer. No, it's not going to go to full strength. Okay, so my coral splatters are pretty much dry so I just wanted to finish off the eyes a little bit so I've got um, Tim Holtz Distress Market in brushed corduroy so it's a kind of crafty colour so I'm actually going to just colour in providing it still works there we go I'm just going to add in a little bit of that colour into the irises of my character they don't always have to be blue eyed so it's okay to have a brown eyed one occasionally so add a little bit of colour in there, so it's gone kind of like browny green, which is fine. And then I'm going to grab my Signo White Opaque Rollerball Gel Pen. Just make sure that that works, and I'm just going to add some, just a couple of little highlights on the lip at the bottom, and then I can add little catch light in there and maybe a couple of catch lights just in the eyes there and then if you wanted you can add a couple of kind of highlights there now as you can see my vision letter bubbles I've got their own catch lights which stay in place when you turn them around <laughs> so that's not too bad so I can just add a little bit just to kind of highlight just adds a little bit of depth a little bit of dimension to it doesn't have to be you know anatomically correct it doesn't have to be perfect our brains are hardwired and fine-tuned to recognize faces in anything which is why we see faces in trees in leaves in clouds and that kind of stuff we're just hardwired to recognize faces and that can be in the most strangest of places or the strangest of things even on toast you know what I'm talking about okay so with that I think my mission inspiration for April is done. I'm just looking at the face there and um, with that circle, that coffee ring circle there, it looks a little bit like Dr. Manhattan but with a green face, if you know who Dr. Manhattan is. Um, if you don't, trust me, it looks like a little bit like Dr. Manhattan if his face was blue or her face was blue. Kind of androgynous, kind of neither male nor female in there. Mm, perhaps. Anyway, so he says moving on swiftly. Um, so we've got stamp pattern all over, we've got, I've scraped paint across the page, I've added small paper shapes, in my case punched, which were the arrows, 
make holes, uh, threaded through that paper from Tim Holtz across the top of the bottom, makes a nice little border. Never done that before, like the idea. Probably will do it again now. Um, draw or paint a face or a fragment of one. Ta-da. Um, add just one word as a focal point. Vision. Vision. <coughs> Excuse me. Add journaling or illegible text. Well, I've done that across the top and across the bottom there. And add something metallic or shiny. Combined the two with the word because they're shiny. Nice. So I think... My art journal page for the month of April is complete. So 419, and I'm going to sign it. And I'm going to call this Done and Dusted. So all I have to do now is to stick this on the back of the sheet and put it into my journal. But not before I've photographed it for, the, for you to watch now. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed watching me draw my alien face with the weird earrings and the arrows. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So yeah, so that was my mission inspiration Facebook group at project thing for... <laughs> uh, completely got away from me then. So that's my project for April. Hope you did enjoy that. So don't forget, if you want to drum, jump in and join us... Good grief. I'll just go and put my teeth in. Hang on. There we go. So if you want to join us on our monthly art challenges, please just visit the link that's shown on screen now and also in the description area below this video. I think I've had far too much coffee and I need to go lie down in a darkened room. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again very, very soon. Mwah! Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.